This is Adam Enzer, you're watching Sal TV, competitive team Fortress 2, and today we do have one of the most amazing games of all time. Quite simply, we're going to watch Enigma here as he sets up his uh, teleporter there first, but this is classic mix-up versus Leviathan Gaming, the grand finals of I-46, and I figured, you know, the this game has of course already been casted live, and it was casted by two outstanding casters, Arcs and Beta, but you know what, they're both European. And uh, I think we need some American representation here. So what has gone on here? Oh my gosh, you guys. Clean this up. Seriously. All right. Well, um, of course, Leviathan Gaming in the blue, they are going to be uh, going first. And if you guys didn't know the story here, uh, Leviathan Gaming and Mixup, two American teams, both went to the European tournament, I-46. Uh, and this is the grand finals. That means that, uh, you know, spoiler alert, uh, the Americans just trounced every European there. In fact... Uh, people were saying that the Americans did not lose a single map, and so we are going to see mix-up on defense first, and they are kind of getting ready to set some spam down here at the entrance, but that entrance is not going to be touched, as it looks like Leviathan Gaming is going to go ahead and pop out this way, uh, with Banny leading the charge. Actually, the scout's leading the charge. It's going to be Clockwork and Sizer up ahead of him, the two amazing scouts for Leviathan Gaming, both of whom are fantastic at Deathmatch and at uh, Game Sense and just about everything. Clockwork, in fact, when we got his interview, um, he said, you know, Game Sense is for people who... who <laughs> he didn't say quite this bad, but but uh, Game Sense is for people who can't aim. So he just likes to, to aim and completely destroy people with his amazing aim. So we're going to watch him for a little while as he goes ahead of the rest of his team. And actually, wait a minute. I think I saw Shade out here. So this is unusual. Shade, the, uh, the blue medic here, you don't usually leave that medic... Um, you don't usually let him come out of spawn with you this early. It's, it's kind of strange to see that. But uh, anyway, Clockwork is going to hang out here for a little bit longer as the rest of his team seems to be getting ready to go for an attack onto point B. And point B is where all the fighting is going to happen. Teleporter gets taken out. Clockwork, of course, back over there at uh, spawn area. He was just harassing a little bit, trying to make it a little bit harder to reinforce once these guys die. And that's a useful thing to do. But we've got um, kind of a tense situation here as these sticky bombs are coming out and trying to damage each other. Platinum and Banny right in the other side of this doorway. They can't shoot through the walls, though, so they got to see each other. And, oh, wow, Banny took a lot of damage there. He's down on the ground right now getting attacked, and the Ubers do get popped. So blue team coming in first. Uh, once these Ubers are over, we're going to see what happens. But right now, it looks like Leviathan Gaming want to back away from this. They don't like the engagement. They've lost too many players. In fact, they lose their med. Shade is down. So Clockwork's going to try and get in on top of Pure there, the red medic, just to see if he can't even the score but it doesn't happen, and Leviathan Gaming gets wiped out without getting a single kill there in the first push. And this is stopwatch mode, so it is okay for them to lose a push or two, but you don't really want to be losing too many, as the, the faster you cap all those points, the tougher the time the enemy has beating your time, of course. You want to make it a nice short time on all those caps, and so we're going to watch Platinum as he lays down a couple of uh, sticky traps here, waiting for Leviathan Gaming to push in again, and pretty much just hanging out here back behind the point. As usual, this is very, very standard play. You know, one uh, one sentry gun set up here behind the point. Banny, the demo man, trying to spam some pipes through those windows. Very nice aim on those pipes, but uh, it's not going to be quite enough to damage that sentry yet. Leviathan Gaming loses Shade and Mackie again. They're both down, and uh, Ruin is going to start trying to do some cleanup here from indoors. He finds Banny. Not going to... Oh, he does take him down. I was thinking that soldier would stop him, but no, Ruin just has impeccable aim as well. One of the best scouts in North America. And he is playing for classic mix-up. So now Sizer is one of the last remaining people out here. In fact, he may be the last remaining person out here, and he's trying to get away. I think he might have actually juked his opponents. They can't see him for the moment. He's inside this little shack. Of course, you can actually see through the window of the shack, so they probably know he's there. Um, but they're not willing to go try and take him out, as you can't shoot through those windows. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Team Fortress 2, you know. Windows can stop bullets and rockets and all kinds of stuff, because why not? It does make things uh, a little interesting as far as how the game actually goes. You know, sometimes you can see people, you can't shoot them. It's, uh, it's a useful mechanic. It's, it's not supposed to be realistic, guys. This is Team Fortress 2. You're watching a cartoon video game. Just don't worry about the realism, okay? Leviathan, though, pushing in once again and having this difficulty. The sentry is still such a pain. Um, I mean, defenders get so many advantages here on point B that it makes it very difficult for a team to push, except with anything other than a full, like, uber advantage. The teleporter does finally get taken down, as does the sentry. That's Banny doing a really good job of taking down that sentry gun. Of course, Enigma... The engineer at the moment is going to try and rebuild that right away. Tyler finds his opposing soldiers inside the point right now, and there you go. Good harassment. Looks like the team uh, Leviathan Gaming has finally decided this is the time. 
that they need to go in and push and take people out because they did manage to knock out Enigma's um, sentry. And now they've knocked out Enigma. They've knocked out most of the players. Ruins down. Tyler down as well. Platinum, the only one left alive. This uh, red demo man over here is trying to spam, but he decides to back up. And that's the wise choice. You don't want to wipe out here. It's better for Platinum to retreat. And look what he does now. Uh, well, I think, yeah. What he's done here is he set up some sticky traps right in the path that Leviathan Gaming is going to take to try and get up there to final point C. And so uh, as he retreats, he basically makes it a lot harder for these guys to get in and start spawn camping the rest of his teammates. And that's that's pretty normal, but that's what you got to do at these high levels. If you can't keep up, you're going to get destroyed. So Mixup is pretty much sitting back on the last point now. And where's Mackie? I guess he died. Didn't like that. But uh, Ruin on the sniper. And Enigma now on the heavy. Where is Enigma hanging out? Probably upstairs. He is, in fact, right up here. He's got to watch out for snipers trying to shoot him in the head. Because, of course, he's a relatively stationary target when he's spun up like this. Uh, can't move very fast. Soldier gets kind of knocked off the edge there. But, oh, Ruin with a nice headshot on Banny. That's going to be a huge deal as he takes down the Demo Man, who is responsible for a lot of the damage. And now Enigma... Just kind of hanging out here, waiting for people to push into him. It's too late now, though, as Clockwork and goes down. So Sizer is the only one left. He's dead as well. That is Tyler with the kill there. T-L-R. Um, and Pure definitely gives this guy the rating of one of the best soldiers in North America. Apologies for the camera work there. It's just uh, the, the third person over the shoulder. It doesn't always do what you want it to do. Uh, but no, this guy has been given the rating of one of the best soldiers in North America, and he's playing Pocket Soldier, which is essentially just protect the medic and try to lead the charge. And at this point, you know, they are playing a defensive style. They have to, because they can't retake points. It's an attack-defend type of map. So one team is going to be on attack until they manage to either win the round or run at a time. The other team is just going to be on permanent defense. And then they switch, and that is, that is the stopwatch mode thing. I keep explaining this, I know, like every time I make one of these videos, but you know what? I figure enough people are going to be uh, rotating here, maybe some new viewers here and there, that you might appreciate it. So the 6v6 team pushing in once again, and a nice Uber here to get them through the door, uh, but Ruin with another beautiful headshot there, this time on Tyrone. He is taken out, and now uh, Banny is in some trouble here. Mackie sitting behind the point. Interestingly, they actually pushed a heavy through, but he wasn't able to get a lot of damage done. Um, that's just, once again, there is so much of a defender, defender's advantage. should slow down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, there is a huge advantage for the defenders on these final points. And Pierre, look at this, didn't even have to pop his uber. So he is going to still have that uber maintained for when the enemies push in next. Mackie now on the sniper. And you'll notice these players do tend to change classes a lot. That's a useful thing to do on Gravel Pit. In fact, this map, Gravel Pit, is it's one of my favorites. And a lot of casters really don't like it. A lot of players don't like it because it's, it's kind of slow sometimes. It, it gets a little bit turtly. But you get to see some of the most interesting tactics and strategies pulled out. Um, Mixup, for instance, very well known for, in the past, at least some of their players, like Pure. Um, Pure really loves doing what's called the Iron Man defense, which is defending both A and B, which is very, very unusual. You don't usually see that happening. Mackie going for the headshot. Oh, not quite. He wants to see... Oh, no, too late. He wanted to see if he couldn't get Pure and, and knock him out before that Uber was popped, but it is too late now. He's going to have to wait until he can spot him again, and do they know there's a sniper looking at them? They probably do. Banny's up there right now, and Mackie is trying his best just to stop the defenders, but it's a little bit too late. Once again, Banny taken out up top, and so they're unable to cap that point, and in case you didn't know here, Gravel Pits, um, I mean, you gotta go all the way out from that spawn over there, which is what we're looking at before, through here, and then up to the top, you've got to stand up here and capture it. So, the offensive team, the blue team, really needs at least one soldier, at least one demo man. Of course, you can only have one demo man. Um, otherwise it would be a little bit overpowered. But it's usually preferable to have two soldiers here. The scouts are okay for mobility, but those soldiers can do the rocket jumps and get up there so fast. And oh, Ruin in for a huge kill on Shade. The medic is down once again, and that's just going to slow up Leviathan Gaming so much more unless Mackie gets a huge headshot here on Pier. He's not looking for that right now. He does take down Enigma, which is a good shot. He's peeking through these doorways, wants to get the kill on Pier. Pier is not going to show his head up there, though. He knows he's a sniper. He knows that Mackie's going to be looking for that headshot. And there you go. Pier does force uh, Pop there just to save and Platinum and the demo man. Platt tries to jump up and stop that capture. Not able to do it yet, but of course the medic does walk up here and buy some extra time. Is it going to be enough? Scout comes up to try to stop this from capping. Banny is doing his best, but he gets taken out as well. Sizer is getting some kills though. Platinum and Pure are both down, and it's going to be Sizer versus Ruin. Oh, Enigma comes in. The other red scout to take him out, and now it's going to be Shade going for the... Uh, was that the amputator or the uber saw? I think it might have been going for an uber saw there, but regardless, it was his melee weapon. And now Tyrone has to back away here, waiting for the rest of his team. Tyrone, the team leader of Leviathan Gaming, and uh, he's got his own stream, too. 
In fact, a lot of these players have their own stream, so if you are interested in watching some amazing, amazing high-level TF2 play, um, which, you know, some people are like, oh, that's totally an oxymoron. High-level TF2? What are you talking about? Bring me Call of Duty. And I'm like, no, seriously, this is some absolutely stellar play. And Tyrone puts on a show. He is an utterly amazing streamer. I highly recommend him, so I will definitely uh, post a link to his stream in the description of the video. Uh, but yeah, Tyrone leading his team and trying to get to victory. He's at 24 health, going to die by falling to his death, but there's not a lot he can do there. He's just trying to put on some pressure. Uh, and there you go. Oh, Pure is so close to dying, but laying down the needles. And yet there's a bunch of players up here as well. That is why you need those two soldiers. Mackie switching back to soldier really helped his team there to finally get the capture. But the problem is, now look at this. They have, of course, switched colors. Mix-ups in the blue, Leviathan's in the red. The problem is, Leviathan took 9 minutes and 20 seconds to get that capture. And... Actually, they're they're running two engineers. They they uh, are they they are running two engineers. So this is something that in North America you're actually not allowed to do anymore in 6v6 um, because two engineers in North America you you can get so super turtly. And yes, we are going to see two sentry guns. Um, it's possible to take those out, of course. If you get a good Uber or you get, you know, some good spam routes, you can definitely destroy those sentry guns. I like how that's clipping through the little pill bottle, by the way, here, too. That's, that's cute. Um, but no, Sizer and Clockwork both deciding Scout is not necessary here. We are going to turtle up hardcore with two sentry guns. And so we're going to see how that actually does work out for them, because it could be a really effective tactic. Mixup not really using that. Uh, Harblue deciding to go spy, and that could be an interesting thing to see as well. I, once again, this is why I absolutely love Gravel Pit. It does force a lot of these off classes. Um, normally, you're going to see two scouts, two soldiers, demo man, medic. But instead, we are seeing, you know, two engineers, two soldiers on one team. We're seeing, you know, a spy on the other team. And spy is just... Harblue loves going spy, by the way. So if you want to watch... Um, you want to watch North American Spy, watch Hard Blue, but okay, so he just barely times that so he can grab some extra metal for the cloak. Um, he's, uh-oh, he might get spotted here by that engineer, and that does mean if he's spotted, of course, everybody's going to be yelling at each other on their voice chat. Uh, they're going to be like, okay, a Spy's coming in, a Spy's coming in. They know that Hard Blue's here, they know he's a Spy, he goes for the stab, but not going to get it. It's good communication there on Leviathan, they do manage to stop him from getting in. And now we get to watch as these guys just finish upgrading all their buildings. It's like they're playing SimCity. Actually, you don't upgrade buildings in SimCity, do you? What game am I thinking of? Anyway, it's a level 3 dispenser now. Level 3 sentry. Going to be nasty to push into. A teleporter does get taken down at spawn. And now Team Mixup want to push in here. They, you see what Tyler's doing here is he's uh, shooting rockets up at the ceiling. And that seems like, oh, what's he doing? Well, he's looking for sticky traps. Um, you never know where those sticky bombs are going to be from Banny. And Banny is, is beast at laying down sticky traps. Tyler's going to have to retreat here. This Uber not effective at all. And uh, gotta watch out for those sticky traps. Sticky bombs on the ground. He's okay. It's, for some reason, they were not detonated, but uh, could have done some damage there. Still, you look at what's happening here, and uh, Mixup is managing to block out this one scout in his spawn. Um, that's going to be clockwork, and he might go for a headshot. But right now, it looks like Tyler did actually get into the point. Problem is, there's still a sentry here, and it is still being repaired quite effectively. Um, Leviathan Gaming keeping most of their players alive. Mackie is down. Two NGs in Europe. <laughs> and Mick Platinum's like, oh, wait a minute, you're allowed to do that. Oh, crap. I don't think Mixup even realized. Because they are, of course, not on their home turf. They are playing in Europe. They're playing with a slightly different rule set. And that's, I think, maybe taking them by surprise. So uh, Leviathan have bought themselves about two minutes here off the clock. It started at 9.20. We're now down to 7.20 here. And so uh, Hardblue, once again, is going to go spy. Hardblue, where are you? It's always fun to watch Spy see if they can actually do anything or if it's just going to be super derpy. But he is invisible right now. Nobody can spot him unless they bump into him. And he is going to get right on by again, scooting his Spy left. Oh, never mind. Well, Hard Blue, you tried. And they are pushing out a Heavy now as well. That Heavy does get taken down by a Scout very quickly. Ruin doing what he can, but he is taken out as well. Uh, Shade still has 100% Uber. Tyler trying to get a kill there on the Engineer, and he can't even do that. So both Engineers are still up. Shade still has his Uber sitting back behind the point. You notice he's back here. So, you know, the two entrances for our blue team, this is long and this is short, and it's just because that's how long it takes them to get there. Uh, most of the players do want to go out of short here just to try and get into the fight as quickly as possible, but those two entrances are, are basically the only two plays you can take unless you want to go all the way around through point C to come into that right side, and I'm pretty sure that Mixup don't want to waste that kind of time right now. Nice shot on the scout there, too. Uber's popped just a little bit early, and that does mean that these sentries are going to stay in position for a little while longer. Um, it's an interesting tactic, but sometimes you just want to make sure that A, you know, I think the best way to put it... Ooh, Pure is going to die here. 
Um, yeah, it does get away so far. But the best way to put it is that you want to make sure at least one line of defense is up. A nice shot by Banny to take down Pierre. He knew that guy was at low health and doesn't want to leave that medic alive to heal the rest of the team and build another Uber up. Um, <clears throat> but whether that last line of defense is your medic and soldier with the Uber, or whether it's your sentries, one of those lines of defense needs to stay up at all times to make sure they cannot get in and capture that point. And so sometimes you're going to have the sentries protect the medic, and sometimes it's going to be the other way around, where the medic pops the Uber, and he is actually trying to help protect his sentries and just make sure that uh, they keep that line of defense alive. Anyway... It took me way too long to say, I know. Because a lot of action's going on, and the, the sentry did get taken out there, but Banny, with big damage, and Tyrone as well, taking down Platinum. So we are seeing um, a lot of kind of floundering here by Classic Mix-Up, with Banny jumping in. He wants to get this kill on the scout. Ruin, though, trying to save his med. Meanwhile, Banny, oh, so close to that air shot! Oh, just barely dodged around that in mid-air. I don't even think he realized it was happening. And a nice little crossbow shot there from Shade is going to get his demo man nice and healed up. But uh, in comes Classic Mix-Up once again. Oh my, look at the air shots. Tyler just got air shot by Mackie. So Mackie is going huge, as we say in the business. He is uh, having a good game right now. Mackie, I need to see you. I need to see you, man. Yeah, Mackie's having an amazing game here. Getting the air shots, getting the kills. And now Mixup is in just a little bit of trouble as they need to push into a team that has a sentry, that has 100% Uber. Um, Pure does just now get his Uber up. And so that is going to be very, very useful here as they do take down a sentry. No, I'm sorry, they take down a dispenser and a teleporter. Sentry does go down just now. Uh, and Mackie's getting some heals on, so he's going to jump up here to the roof, try to contest it, but no. Looks like finally Mixup is getting some kind of an advantage here. And as the fight devolves into like little 1v1s all over the place, Mixup's starting to win. It's only one engineer left. He's trying to use his little shotgun here. Which is, you know, fairly dangerous in close range, but not going to be quite enough. And now Mixup is probably, probably going to cap B. But look how how um, how slowly that captures. So what happens here is Platinum's going to start laying some sticky traps just to make sure nobody comes in and tries to stop them from domination. And, uh, woo! Okay, I've been talking nonstop for quite a while. Enigma actually on the pyro. So, you guys, we are going to see pretty much every class today. Gravel Pit, great map for that. I love it. And I love the little beanie that he's got going on here. Um, with the, the, is that snow? Is it supposed to be a snow cloud above his head? It's cute, anyway. Um, a nice little reflect there. What we're, what we're going to try to do with Enigma is bring him to the top so he can air blast everybody else off this point and get the capture. And he does manage to air blast the soldier back down. Um, soldier does pop up right behind, though. Oh, no, Tyrone getting a, at least one kill there. And Sizer finishing off the med, but Tyrone did a lot of damage, too. So uh, use, making the best of that moment, Tyrone managed to do it. Nonetheless, it is going to be Platinum and Ruin, the only ones left. And I think they're going to be able to stop this, or, or I mean capture it, before time runs out here. Three minutes left to go, and there you have it. Mixup wins the first stopwatch round. Now, it's going to be a best of three stopwatch rounds, which means that next time around, Mixup will be on offense first, LG on defense, and so we're going to be right back with that round. And by the way, um, this was done live in front of an audience of like 400 people, which was just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, because people were cheering... Not so much for Gravel Pit, actually. I think the casters like weren't really into this map, and I was like, oh, come on! This is such a great map! But anyway, uh... Yeah, my nerdiness aside, um, not a lot of people were actually cheering for this map, and it turns out they are not starting quite yet, so I will uh, cut this out. Okay, that's better. Sorry about that. Um, they had an issue, I guess, where they were not put on the right team. So, Mixup will be on offense first. LG will be on defense. And LG running this time, it seems like maybe only one. Nope, still doing the two engineers. And that is a powerful defense when you consider how far the enemy has to push to them and just how much they have to take out. So, two engineers means two sentry guns plus two little, uh, little dudes running around with their pistols and their shotguns. So damaging and so difficult to deal with. And you gotta love Sizer's chaperones going on here. Pretty sure it's, that's what they are. I grew up in Texas. I should know these things, but whatever. Uh, meanwhile, here in Spawn, pretty much is nothing that um, Mixup can do. They just kind of sit around and wait, build the Uber up to 100%, and they will have it. Ten seconds left to go here, but uh, they want to try and get everybody buffed up. You see how much overheal on the right-hand side down those player tabs, how much overheal everybody has. They want to be all overhealed as they walk out there so that... Uh, as they walk out, they get a lot of health. A sticky trap might not kill all of them. Um, you know, if anybody's here to try to defend, they can stop that. And meanwhile, let's go check out Pure. He is just going to be standing right here. And why is he doing this? This is very, very standard medic play on Gravel Pit. You want to make sure that uh, nobody can cross these barriers to kill you. And of course, these these little doors right here, red team cannot get past that. Red team cannot get past this. And I know, I know, this stuff happening. Hard Blue actually um, jumping in maybe after 
after his enemies. But yeah, uh, Pure is just kind of standing in a place where even if they somehow managed to get a sniper or something up there, he would not be able to be damaged at all. So he's preserving the Uber 100% until uh, basically until he's ready to go. And now he's jumped out here. He's going to be coming with his pocket soldier, Tyler there, TLR, with a white tyrant's helm. Um, of course, you got to talk about hats. Oh, no, though. Mackie and Vanny jump in, destroying Pure. That's going to be an Uber drop, as we call it. It means he was not able to pop it, but he was at 100%. So those little fizzly spark marks on him mean that he had the Uber. Could have done something about it, but can't anymore. And there you go. Uh, Hard Blue gets taken out. What is up with this notably dangerous stuff? Uh, Tyrone going for the air shots does not hit that on Platinum, but it doesn't matter. As Platinum does get taken out, it's Tyrone's still going to hold on to the uh, high ground here able to spam down those rockets. It's such a useful thing, like, using this high ground, because if the enemy tries to shoot rockets at you, if they don't hit a direct shot, they basically are worthless. Uh, those rockets will not deal any damage to Tyrone while he's standing up here. Meanwhile, uh, Enigma on the heavy, though, will be able to deal a lot of damage with this big old minigun, if he so chooses. Might be turning around to uh, respawn, though, so we'll go to a different player for now. Uh, watching Banny here defending the second point. Pretty much just standing inside the point in front of his sentry guns. Plural. Oh no, there's only one now. Clockwork has switched off back to Scout. So there is just one sentry gun here, which is more standard, um, kind of more standard United States and North America play. Uh, is this going to be a ruin on the sniper? Yes, it is. And he is, he's got to watch out for these uh, sticky traps here. There's a trap right above his head. Does not want to walk out too far. But I think he'll be okay. He is looking to get the kills as everybody else is kind of jumping in over towards that side. But meanwhile, Ruin does get taken out, and Leviathan Gaming doing a very good job of defending right now. Um, this Uber, like, they can't hurt each other. They're invincible, but the problem is, of course, that they can't walk past each other either. So they're just body blocking and trying to, like, stall each other out. It makes up losing a lot of players here. Shade is still alive, and Pure wants to bring in... Um, who is that? Is that Harblue with that weird, crazy hat? Yes, it is. Okay. So Harblue's wearing the same hat that Tyrone is, actually. That uh, samurai kind of thing. But yeah, they're going to back up for a little while, trying to build the Uber as fast as they can. And meanwhile... Oh, Ruin taken out, so we need to find a, uh, a camera here of one of the defenders again, because this is a pretty solid defense. Um, Leviathan Gaming is setting up. Meanwhile, how have you been? I was watching this as it was live in the grand stage, and it was just incredible. It was, like, my favorite thing ever. I wish I could have been up there casting in front of the grand stage, but, you know, uh, one of these days, one of these days it will happen. Mackie's spotting a, uh, an interestingly placed sticky trap, but Platinum taken down by Banny, so it doesn't even matter. Um, of course, you see the, the, the stickies just disappeared, and that was because once your demo man dies, the sticks are gone. Um, no, I was, I was out there at I-46 doing documentary filming. It was absolutely awesome, and we are going to have a documentary for you guys uh, coming up. I am storyboarding it as we speak. Not as we speak. I'm actually not, like, like right now. Maybe, depending on when you watch this, I guess. Um, but Pure taken out by Banny. It's a nice shot there, and that does mean, once again, no Uber. Oh, no! Wow! Mixup trying to jump in here and get the kills, and they are not able to do anything except force an Uber. Plus, Shade is actually still going to be ahead in the Ubers, because Pure, look how long it's taking them to spawn. Um, anyway, no, I was at I-46. We did a documentary. I will be storyboarding, and we've got our XTV editors on the task trying to... Uh, trying to get all our footage in order. Um, and we're going to show this to as many people as possible, so uh, we're going to need your help if you think it's an interesting documentary, if you think it's an awesome uh, awesome thing. We're going to need you to tell your friends to check it out and, you know, post it on forums and whatever else. Just spam people with it because, I mean, what's better than spamming, right? It's not obnoxious at all. I'm just kidding. Don't spam people. It's just rude. But no, tell people about it. Um, and a pure... Ooh, okay, he's on the Crits Creek, so that's actually going to be really useful. Uh, is he going to... Uh oh, he's not doing this. Oh, he's using he's using it on the heavy. That's a weird choice. Uh, Enigma is going to run back behind this rock and try to get some positioning here. Not able to deal a lot of damage yet. He's just kind of chipping away at people from long range. He's just out of range of that sentry gun. It is not able to target him. And of course, since this is Euro rules, that Wrangler is not allowed. So you can't use the Wrangler to uh, take control of the sentry and make it fire farther. Tyler jumping in after the med. He does force the pop. Uh, and that was Shade popping his Uber instead of dying. Uh, a very useful thing to do. But yeah, that's, um, I don't know what I was talking about anymore. Well, anyway, Leviathan Gaming on defense. <laughs> oh, Platinum down now as well. Banny with a nice kill there, and, and that's going to be typical Banny, able to aim those pipes and sticks with the best of them. 
even the Europeans who who are really pride themselves in their demo men more than anything else. Um, Tyler does get taken out, and Enigma is just kind of hanging out here with the minigun spun up. But that's not even going to get enough done. So the defense is still up. Has this sentry gone down at all this game? I don't know. Um, Hard blue now on the sniper. So it looks like uh, maybe Ruin decided... No, okay, he is on spy... Soldier. Looks like he doesn't know what he wants to do right now. Um, that's fair. It's fair. He's going to take just a bit of overheal here from Pierre. He wants to jump in there with 300 health if he possibly can. Because, hey, the more health you got, the better. Nice little rocket jump there. Oops. <laughs> um... He does jump up, and he's going to be looking for the sentry, looking for maybe getting some spam done on that med. And yes, Shade does have to pop. Thing is, Pure is way down back here, and he's getting pressured nonstop. There you go, taken out once again. Banny finishes him off. Uh, Hard Blue now down as well. That's pretty much everybody, and Ruin, the last man alive, not able to get any kills there. So Leviathan Gaming dominating here on defense on point B. This is, uh, this is quite a long time. I guess they're kind of kicking themselves, wishing they had defended this well in the first round. But you know, they might still win this stopwatch round just by virtue of a, a really, really solid defense. And Banny now laying down a couple of stickies. Going for the uh, air pipe there on a soldier, not quite able to hit it yet. But it looks like Clockwork is the first one to die in this exchange, so that's one player advantage to mix up. That's kind of what they need. Got to get in here now and take out the sentry, maybe pop the Uber. Uh, Shade didn't quite have Uber yet. But neither does Pure. And now Shade does have the Uber. They're going to jump in. They take down Pure immediately. No Uber for the blue team here. Oh my gosh. Leviathan Gaming is on a roll. And Mixup just can't seem to do anything against them on this defense. So uh, very possible that Mixup just will not even get this second point. That would make things nice and easy this round. Banny down though. A good kill by Platinum. They did not know where he was. And uh, information is half the battle here. Oh, Mackie, though, just popping out of every window. Platt did not know which way to look. But there you go, Enigma and Ruin, the two scouts. The combo here, well, not the combo. We actually call the medic and soldier the combo. Anyway, the, this, this uh, scout duo is doing amazing damage right now. They are going to take down Tyrone, uh, and Shade is actually gone as well. So Leviathan Gaming will finally lose point B. This is such a long time, though. Um, typically, what you see on these rounds is more like three to five minute captures. And this is probably going to be more like 11 minutes uh, as soon as this actually gets capped here, which I don't know if it even will. But Leviathan not really able to pop in just yet and stop this. Um, eh. Everybody's starting to get forward now. They want to go push towards point C. Clockwork is on the pyro and actually not standing up top here. Usually you do see the pyro standing at the top, but the heavy able to keep him out of the air. Um, a jumping demo man now, Platinum, trying to deal some damage. Now everybody's jumping and collapsing on this point. A lot of time done on the point right now. Uh, Mackie is on the sniper, but I don't think it's going to be enough as a red soldier jumps in to try to stop this, but Platinum had the sickies laid down. It's just Mackie and Shade left. Can they stop Tyler from capping? I don't know if they can, and no, Mackie dies to Platinum. Sticky bombs. So one of the things that's really great is if you can get somebody up on that point who is not your demo man and then have your demo man down on the ground like they did, just spamming sticks up to the point, Basically, if anybody tries to jump up there, they're going to jump into Sticky Bombs and die. Kind of sucks. So, uh, I thought it was going to be 11 minutes, but actually, only 8.33. That's kind of surprising. That's uh, it's still shorter than that 9 minute, 20 second time from the first round. So this could be our last round. Possibly. Um, don't look at the time left on the video. <laughs> you just looked! Why would you do that? Now you've told yourself. You just spoiled everything, guys. Oh, come on. Anyway, um... I'm not going to talk about it. If you actually didn't look and, and you are you are disciplined, you have self-control, well then, good for you. Uh, we are going to go check out what's going on on defense, though, and mix up. What are you guys doing? Um, looks like they're ready to hold here on point B. Where is the sentry? There isn't a sentry. There's no engineer. Mix up actually... Oh! I'm getting nerd chills like Tastosis right now, because I tell you what, I think mix up may actually be doing the Iron Man defense. They might be trying to defend A and B, which this usually takes people by complete surprise. We've got Clockwork and Sizer getting ready to set up, and they see they see the players coming in. They're like, okay, hang on. Something's going on here. Sizer and Tyrone both die. This is going to be uh, Harblue in behind, getting a bunch of kills. That is going to be both the scouts down. It's just Shade and Banny left alive. Are they going to have to pop their Uber here? It's going to be so bad for Leviathan if they have to pop the Uber early. That is um, Pure trying to pull his heavy out. And Platinum jumps in, trying to force the Uber out of these guys. Not quite able to hit him, though. Shade doing such an amazing 
dodging job right now. And uh, Banny is staying alive here, doing the damage. So you know what? Uh, the Uber from Pure uh, didn't do a heck of a lot. They didn't really have the players in place to do that properly. Still, they are trying to delay this cap on point A as much as possible. Enigma does get taken down by Sizer, though. And uh, now it looks like they are going to give up point A. Oh, interesting play here. Mackie takes down Pure. No Uber for quite a while. I like that. That is how you shut down the Iron Man. And Mackie figured it out. Um, as Leviathan started to show their dominance here on point A, and they started to capture it, and Mixup started to retreat, Mackie was in place to stop him. And you do see them kind of uh, <laughs> kind of exchanging pleasantries there. But uh, no, Mackie was already in place for an ambush. That was a beautiful job by him. So that does mean that Leviathan has a huge advantage jumping in here to take down point B. They're going to have an uber. Their opponents will not. Ruin is thinking maybe they're going to come through point C to try to get to B. So he is going to sit back here as a sniper. Um, no, he doesn't spot them, though, so he may have to change back out to scout. Yes, he will. And, oh, interesting positioning by our soldier up here. He decided to uh, get up on top of the blue team, but there you go. The Uber is forced early. Getting a bunch of kills here on this Uber. Size is already on the point, just trying to get some capture time down. Pure is down as well. Uh, and I think Tyler has just decided, okay, we can't do anything about this. Um, and he's going to start walking up the spire here, point C. Yeah, Leviathan capping point B so fast, because they had an Uber. I mean, if you can use your Uber correctly, you are going to get in there and get the cap, and that's exactly what is happening. Point B getting captured right now by the two scouts, times four on that point, because each scout gives you times two. Um, and we're not gonna we're not we're not gonna talk about how it's actually a non-linear progression of capture time increase. You know, there's diminishing marginal returns, but we're not gonna mention that because that is confusing as hell, and I don't even like talking about it. Um, anyway, it was times four on the point. Okay, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> they capped it rather quickly, and now they have six minutes left to capture point C. This and the heavy is trying his best to dodge all the spam coming at him, and he is going to be able to stay alive for a little while longer. But once again, Mackie brought in on the heavy, which is a weird offensive choice, but he's doing some damage. It's just that is it going to be enough? Is he going to be able to take down Ty uh, Tyler? Yes, he does, but that's the only kill he gets. Uh, Tyler with his back to the guy. Can't feel good to be uh, murdered by a heavy. And be like, wait a minute, why was there a heavy behind me? Where did that even come from? I mean, that's that's what's probably going through his head right now. Um, Enigma wants the heals. He wants the medic to get him back up to 450 health. Where are you, medic? Pure just now respawning. And so uh, Enigma's actually getting a little bit farther forward than I've usually seen a heavy. Um, oh, Sizer taken down there, probably going in for a med pick. But interesting thing, Shade does have a significant uber advantage. It's going to be crits, too, so he is going to want to crits Banny here. Uh, the crits Krieg, of course, does not make you invincible, but it does give your healing target 8 seconds of critical hit damage times 3. So, he will be, uh, oh, ruin with the snipe, finishing off Tyrone. So they're going to have to be careful about this. They've got the crits ready to go, though, and they want to deal the damage. First stick doesn't really do anything. Second, third, not dealing a lot of damage. They want to take down that heavy, at least, but they're not able to focus anything and no, the Crits Krieg almost completely useless there. Um, Platinum just got taken down. It was a nice kill by Banny. He's going to have to start laying down some sticky bombs to try and protect himself up here. Um, does pop that soldier off. Not able to hit the pipe on the heavy, but he's trying his best. Does take down Enigma finally. Beautiful pipe there, but he gets jumped by Tyler. And so Mixup still trying desperately to hold on to this. They have to hold it for four minutes, and they lose their med once again. It's going to be Mackie and Tyrone both doing some crazy jumps in here, and I think they're going to get this. Oh, they're going to be really careful, though. Oh, Harblue with the huge kills, defending the Spire like a beast. And now, uh, oh, Ruin just got taken out, though, and that's going to be a scout upstairs. Sorry, I missed that. But Platinum taking him out as well. Platinum now, I'm sorry, not Platinum. That was, was Platinum? I don't know. Somebody taking him out, and there you go. Banny jumps it, so that's it. We're going on to another stopwatch round, and if you didn't check your time, well, good for you, because uh, we're going to have one more round. It's going to be the decider, fellas. Okay, one more stopwatch round, and this is it. This, I mean, this is not it. So this is the first map out of three. Uh, they're going to be playing three whole maps to decide who is the winner, and the other two maps are going to be more typical um, 5 CP, so, you know, the back and forth, push and pull, almost like watching a soccer match. This one is much more... Um, can be much slower, although it can also be pretty fast if the uh, strats work out, but so far it's just kind of like two two teams bashing into each other. Anyway, Enigma on the engineer here, and he is going to be laying down that sentry right on this little ramp. Uh, the whole point of this 
<laughs> is just in case somebody tries to dive bomb their medic, this sentry will knock them out of the air. Uh, at some point, he will grab that and bring it back. But right now, Leviathan Gaming, sorry about the camera work, Leviathan is bringing a... Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I saw that happen live. Okay, so... <laughs> um, Ruin actually did get a headshot off there, I think. But what he was doing was he was playing as the sniper and managed to jump up so that he was basically scoped in like standing right here as the gate opened and was able to take a shot at Leviathan Gaming. Didn't really manage to get um, get any kills there, but he could have almost taken down the medic if he just had a tiny bit of time. Um, you do see that sniper rifle there that was him. Anyway, I remember seeing that live and being like, oh, is he going to get it? And then he didn't. It was, it was kind of anticlimactic, but it was pretty cool nonetheless to, to try it. And the funny thing is, if you've ever played Gravel Pit Defense before, you know how hard it is to actually get up here. You cannot jump up here normally as a sniper. What you have to do is like jump on this tiny little ledge right here and then do a weird strafe jump just to get it. It's, it's tough. I can do it like on a really good day, but it is tough to do. Anyway, Mixup is defending B now. They have abandoned A, trying not to do this um, risky Iron Man defense. They are just going to turtle up on point B. And starting to lay down some damage here on Tyrone, who did jump in try to kill somebody. I'm not sure what he was really going for there. Uh, now Leviathan Gaming losing a scout as well. This is not going to be a super stellar, awesome fight for them. Um, I think we're going to have to see... Yeah, Mackie getting taken down as well. They were not able to force the Uber Pop out of Pure. And uh, can watch Pure's play for just a little bit here because how he positions himself is going to be super important here for this last round. Now, he does not want to have the Uber popped. He wants to be quite safe. And so he will be um, keeping himself in the protection of the sentry for the moment. If he needs to, he'll peek out just a little bit to try and keep his teammates healed up as they, you know, push into the enemy here and there. P make little little pokes, I guess. Not pushes so much. Um, but Hardblue playing the roaming soldier, kind of standing up here behind this barricade. Meanwhile, his, uh, his pocket soldier is jumping up. They're not really sure where the enemies are coming from right now. Where is Leviathan coming from? Oh, they do spot the med, and that is going to give them a big advantage in terms of uh, information. Mackie getting taken out there, not able to get a single bit of damage down on a pier, and of course that sentry gets repaired, like, in two hits of an engineer's wrench. So, doesn't take very long at all to keep that sentry fully healed. Pure actually getting really aggressively positioned up here, but it looks like he does want to try and... Oh, this is interesting! He's keeping his soldier... Um, able to kill Clockwork there, and that is actually quite a useful thing to do, as Leviathan Gaming uh, were not really able to take down the sentry, but even if they had been, uh, they would have been down a player, and the sentry could have just been rebuilt after the push was over. So, um, Sizer now down as well, both scouts down, and the scouts are a really big deal here for Leviathan Gaming, they're quite good. Uh, Mackie getting taken out as well, and so... The players are just starting to suicide in, trying to kill Pure, and they can't do it! Pure's still alive. Uh, maintaining 150 health, and that's that's what you get with one of your top tier medics. Is you know somebody who just does not take damage unless the rest of his team is basically faltered. Um, because I mean, typically there are two ways you take damage as a medic. It's if your team doesn't protect you, or if you're really bad and make a mistake. And uh, neither of these medics are really bad; they don't make mistakes. Um, Mackie is on the sniper, and that is going to be one way to kill the med. Can he get him? He looks for it. Oh, not able to get the headshot. Would have been a beautiful shot there on Pure if he could take it. And Pure, I mean, you'll notice that the medic saw him. And it's like, okay, one headshot will kill that medic instantly. But he didn't pop the Uber. Did not make himself invincible. Why not? Because basically the rest of his team... Oh, nice. The rest of his team should be able to defend him. They should be able to stop the, the sniper from getting that kill. And if they can't, well, then Pure is just going to be like, well, that's a useless Uber pop anyway. So no point in popping it there. And so he still has 100% Uber. Shade does not have anything, and they can defend this for as long as they want to. Heavy coming in, though. Interestingly enough, I did not see that happen. And so Pure does have to pop the Uber there as the surprise heavy around the corner forces, you know, his team would have died if he hadn't popped that Uber. So he kind of had to. Uh, it's going to give... Well, it, I thought it was going to give some advantage to Shade, but actually not. I'm not sure why they weren't building the Uber there. Didn't manage to catch it. But no, once again, we are in familiar ground here. Um, mix up defending point B against Leviathan Gaming. And they're just kind of hanging out next to the fence. Swinging for the fences, as it were. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just hilarious. 
And what just happened to that soldier? <laughs> Tyrone, I think he got hit by a sticky bomb as well as trying to rocket jump. And that was, of course, way too many explosives for one man, so he did die. Um, Mackie pushing out as the heavy this time around, but he does get taken out. Not able to do a lot of damage to Mixup. And Mixup is just dominating on defense. It's kind of the story of the day. Defense seems to be really, really solid here in Europe. Of course, um, the Europeans playing on their rules have had a lot more time to adapt to this kind of thing, so it's possible that they would do a little bit better on Gravel Pit. Although I don't, I don't think, I think they, gra they play Gravel Pit anymore, do they? Maybe they don't. Um, regardless, in America, of course, you can use a lot more unlocks, and Ruin going for a kill here on the scout. Does manage to take down Sizer, a good kill. Um, but yeah, they can play with more unlocks, so they use like the direct hit to take down sentries or uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, Ruin's going to sneak in on top of this heavy and deal some damage. Can he finish him off? He does! And not really even taking any damage here, so Ruin is looking solid right now. Defending Scout, able to you know flank and deal so much damage. And now he's able to even... Uh-oh, uh it's him versus Clockwork, and that is going to be a battle for the ages, as Clockwork and Ruin are both amazing, but... No, I'm sorry, that was Sizer. Oh, what am I talking about? Uh, Sizer does get taken out once again. And now Ruin is looking like he wants to get in after Banny. Of course, there's not all that many routes that a scout can take to try and attack. Oh, not try and attack a demo man. And Banny is absolutely expert with defending himself with those stickies. So manages to stay alive. Enigma trying to do his best to get the kills, but he's not able to do it either. And now I think Leviathan may finally have the edge here in this battle. Yes, they do. They are going to be able to push onto the point, start capping it. Um, Pure does pop an Uber, though, and that actually is going to be a really big deal. Can they take out Shade with his Uber? They're not able to do it just yet. Pure takes a bit of damage from a Sticky Bomb, and now Tyler is in some trouble here. He is going to die. Scout jumps in, takes him out. Clockwork and Sizer. Leviathan Gaming's terrifying Scout duo finish off those two. And that really didn't buy a lot of time or anything for Mixup, so they may lose point C very, very quickly. Tyrone, the Pocket Soldier, going to go try to find his Medic. Shade, where you at, bro? There he is. And so they're building the Uber nice and fast. They will have that to push in with unless something crazy happens. Ruin is on the sniper, though, so something crazy could happen. He's going to he's gonna try and see which way that medic comes from. I think he's actually going to come through the other door, possibly. Possibly not. Oh, goes for the shot on Tyrone, but doesn't manage to hit it. There you go. Does actually hit a body shot on Tyrone, but that's not going to do a heck of a lot of damage. As there is a medic healing him. Uber is popped, and so Ruin's not able to... Ooh. Okay, let's, uh, let's fix that. Ruin's not able to do a lot. Now Enigma in some trouble here as the scout runs up and destroys him. Makes up losing two players so far, including a heavy and a soldier. And that's, uh, that's a pretty big deal. They lose Tyler as well. Oh, Platinum, though! What the heck just happened? So much damage coming out of that demo man. And can Shade get away? He actually managed to retreat so far, keeping his health so low, but just barely in the game. So he'll be able to build the Uber up a little bit faster. Um, and every second counts here on Gravel Pit. It is stopwatch mode. Uh, whichever team gets the most caps first wins. So mix up trying to defend. If they can defend Spire until that four minute timer there at the top runs out, well then uh, that makes it easier on them because they get two different ways to win. They can actually just cap Spire in any time or they can cap A and B faster than their opponents did. But uh, I do believe LG will cap it. Don't remember actually uh, whether that happened or not. I do remember it was a very close and intense match the entire time. And Tyrone is starting to bring his team through here on this left-hand side as they attack, um, dealing some damage to Enigma on the heavy. And that's the problem with having a heavy is that he's going to take so many heals from the rest of your team. Um, but it can be useful here on this defensive situation where he doesn't have to move around a lot. Sizer taken down already, and that's going to be a nice kill by Enigma. Platinum, what is he doing right now? Uh, deciding he just wants to jump over to resupply at the cabinet. And now he spots a scout going up there, but nice hit. Clockwork does get taken down. Those air stickies are kind of tough to aim sometimes, but he managed to do it just fine. And now he is laying stickies down on top of this little shack. Um, why, you ask? Well, because when scouts walk out here, or anybody really, like a medic or whatever, they jump on top of the shack to try and get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of higher ground. You know, they, they skip an entire level of walking upstairs, and that can be a really useful thing if you get the kill, but uh, not going to happen so far. Ubers are popped for both teams, and that's going to be... Ruin chasing down Sizer with a pistol, now able to reload that scattergun. You don't... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Don't usually see scouts using the pistol unless they've run out of ammo on the scattergun or unless they really need to do a lot of long-range chip damage. Um, but no, not today. It does look like Blue Team is starting a push upstairs, and they might finally get it, but Enigma helps take down Clockwork with that heavy's shotgun. 
No different than the Engineer Shotgun, actually, but Ruin with a nice kill on Tyrone, and that is going to save the point for now. Mackie may jump in, though, pretty soon, and Sizer's already walking upstairs. He just doesn't manage to get it. Ruin still with the kills. And so he is saving this point for his team right now. The longer they put on the clock, the better. And there's only two minutes left in the whole round, so this has to be, like, the longest round they've played yet. I'm pretty darn sure it is. Oh, excuse me, guys. Ruin, though, grabbing some health. And actually, no, not grabbing some health. He has decided to go sniper. So, question is, what is he going to snipe? He's trying to see which way the enemies are going to come in, because there's like five different entrances that he has to cover. And he can't cover them all from really any point. Um, getting pressured right now, but Mackie does get taken down by Harblue. Sizer, meanwhile, with the headshot on Enigma. So it's going to be sniper versus sniper, and Sizer's going for the headshots multiple times. Um, mix up losing a lot of players right now. Uh, Sizer has already done his work, but he wants to do even more. The more damage he does here, the better for the rest of his team as they push in. Nice headshot on somebody. I think that was Ruin, but Ruin was actually overhealed, so he did not quite deal the full damage to kill him. Does take down Platinum, though, and an Uber popped on the point means that that is going to save the point for just a little bit longer. Clockwork taken down now as well. Um, we're going to see, I think, Mackie and Banny jumping up pretty soon. Banny's going to lay down the sticks as Mackie's standing up there. This is exactly what we were talking about before. You have your demo man. Oh my god, doing so much damage so the demo man was laying sticky down bombs up here while the the soldier was standing there and of course there is no friendly fire um, so Mackie was able to stand up there with the protection of those sticky bombs exploding in the face of his opponents his opponents had to turn around and try to take out Banny the demo man just so they could jump back up there and by that point it was too late very good play by LG but problem is look at that time 10 55 11 minutes is a tough time to beat um, a tough time to hold for, I mean. It's kind of an easy time to beat, actually. No, it's it's tough to hold for that long, so um, that's what she said. But, uh, no, oh, why did I say that? I feel so bad, and I feel like an awful person. Am I an awful person? Um, no, Mixup's just kind of hanging out in here for the next 20 seconds until they push out. And they've got a long time ahead of them to try and cap this. But do recall that they have some difficulty pushing into that double NG setup, so we could see this keep going for quite a while but that's not a bad thing. More TF2 is good TF2. Four, three, two, and the gates one. are going to open. Pew! Nothing there. No sticky traps, no nothing. So uh, that will be A-OK -okay with Banny. Where did he lay the traps, I wonder? Probably just a uh, more normal spot. Well, it looks like he did lay them somewhere because Ruin took a lot of damage there, so... Um, must have run into a, a sticky bomb or two somewhere, but he didn't die. That's going to be useful. The scouts will be capping. And meanwhile, there's got to be some action going on. Yes, there is. Um, Harblue taken out there, and Tyler... Oh my gosh, 28 health left on this guy. He's looking for the kill. Uh, good rocket aim. Not quite able to kill Tyrone there, though. And that is going to be healed right back up. So the whole point of the soldiers and the demo man jumping out there is that they wanted to get the kill on Shade. They were trying to kill Shade or at least force him to pop an uber, because that would have given Mix-Up a huge uber advantage. Uh, but they're not going to be able to get that, so pushing into point B is going to have to be... You didn't hear that. You heard nothing. <laughs> pushing into point B is going to be quite a, uh, a challenge. They do take down the teleporter over at spawn, but Harblue taken out right away by a sticky trap, and that sucks for him anyway. But it's great for LG, as they're going to have a nice easy time defending this. And Pure is going to die here. There's no way he's getting out of that. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Um, oh, Tyrone dealing some damage up here to Platinum as well, who's going to have to retreat for the moment. Doesn't really want to have to die anyway. And Harblue has decided he is going to go for the snipes. So is he going to be able to take down like an NG or something? It's going to be really, uh, really, really crucial for him to get a pick here because if he cannot get that pick, then he's basically a completely useless class. And they're playing five on six. That's that's the risk you take when you play sniper. He's looking right now. Oh no! Well, that is the benefit of having a sentry right there, and another sentry right back here. Oh my gosh, the sentry locations are just beast. Platinum taken down. Oh no, I missed that. I think they actually caught that on the live stream. I remember that issue where Platinum basically tried to jump in and take the first one out, and the second one killed him. So both sentries are still up, of course. Uh, Leviathan Gaming having a nice time on defense for the moment. I'm going to have to watch the Mackie cam again. And we will see if he can manage to deal the damage. These guys need to do something to stay in this game. Uh, because they've still got to defend this. I mean, they've defended it for three minutes already, and there's still eight minutes on the clock. It is a nasty situation to be in. But, you know, they've at least got a solid defense set up. 
So Mixup's going to have their work cut out for them pushing in here. Uh, Ruin on the Sniper once again. The Ubers are popped down here and Ubering the Heavy. You know, it's, uh, it's a scary thing to see an Ubered Heavy coming towards you because it means there's going to be 450 health of high damage beast mode coming at you pretty soon. However, Clockwork Sentry doing work, taking out a bunch of players. Mackie jumping up here to help finish off Enigma. And it's just Ruin left alive. What's he going to do here? Going to walk back to spawn, actually. Wait for his med. And pretty much Mixup's just going to sit back here. I apologize for turning the microphone off and on here, but I keep having to, like, clear my throat. The Allergies suck, guys. They suck. Don't get allergies if you can avoid it. Um, it's not a good idea. Ruin somehow not taking any damage there, but Harblue does die. Uh, and the entire team looks like they want to try and push through the same entrance, which is not really going to work for them, of course. Um, nice dodging. Not going to work for them, of course, if you're walking into, like, rockets and stickies and stuff. Everybody's going to take the same amount of damage. Um, Enigma taking a lot of hits here, and that's just not going to work at all. Interestingly, though, Harblue's on the spy again. And, yeah, Enigma's going to die. He just goes ahead and killed himself off. Um, <laughs> I think he realized he was going to die there, and he was just like, okay, I need to change classes anyway, so let's fix that. But Harblue is on the spy, and that's going to be really important. Uh, the Uber's going to come in pretty soon, but I think they might want to try and coordinate this, because this is one you thing you see in like, the 9v9 games a lot, Highlander games, actually. Um, if you can coordinate the spy with the Uber, then what you do is you have the spy walk in, he's going to start sapping the sentry so it stops, um, stops being useful, basically. And he's still disguised, so the sentries aren't going to shoot at him because they think he's on their side. So this sentry is getting sapped, and Harblue does manage to help take it out as the Uber comes in. Both sentries are down. That Uber was very effective, and it was because one of the sentries wasn't able to do its work. That is how you play Spy. He's still alive, actually, and I wonder if the red team realizes he's there. They do. They take him out. But it might be too late now as Leviathan Gaming... Oh, they are getting a bunch of nice kills, though. Remember that if Leviathan win this, they win the first map. And I will say, this map was actually Mixup's pick. Mixup loved playing on this map, but they just wiped out again. Sizer are going to be resetting his teleporter here. Um, no, Mixup loved this map. And Leviathan Gaming might actually win it, which means that we go on to Leviathan's pick next. And of course, Leviathan's going to pick a map where they think they can win because they've practiced it more, they're better on it, whatever the case. So uh, mix up, you know, maybe starting to feel the the crunch just a little bit here. And of course, you got to remember the crowd is is cheering for both teams. But I will say that the crowd was cheering quite a bit more for Leviathan just because they were the underdogs. It was like a, you know. A very stereotypical thing, but yes, the crowds do love the underdogs in Europe. Um, LG get their Uber up in time. And so Mixup is going to have some difficulty pushing in. Ruin does get a kill on Sizer. Um, Clock, we're going to take down Platinum. It's just chaos all over the place. Carnage everywhere. And uh, no, not the player Carnage, although that would be kind of funny too. But Mixup is trying to retreat with Pure here for the moment. They want to make sure that he connects with his soldier. Because now, look at this. They managed to, to go in, cause an attack that forced their opponents to pop Uber. And then they retreated, and... Oh, Ruin! Right behind that heavy, completely destroying him. Sizer had no clue he was there, and that is going to really help out, because it's going to be 6v5. Uber is ready to go. They pop it a little bit early, though. Um, they're going to get in here and probably take down whatever sentries or whatever remains. Um, question is, where is everybody else? And we're going to keep watching the Ruin cam right now. As they start trying to sneak in here, maybe get the kill on Shade. He does get that kill! Nicely done. They knew that Shade was weak, and oh, Banny... I think he actually lagged out there. You saw him. Uh, yeah, he did. So we're going to have a pause. There we go. They have finally managed to unpause that. Um, yeah, very good kills here by Mixup. And that is going to help them cap the point. Don't really remember what I was talking about before. So I apologize for that. Um, no, Banny was, was lagging out there. And that happened a couple times where his, his client crashed. So they had to get him back in the game. Um, but this is such a close round right now. It is. Oh, hang on. Let's fix this. Boom. There we go. Four minutes left to go here, and uh, Mixup's ready to push in. They've got Harblue on the spy again. So we are seeing not a full time spy, but definitely a, uh, a part time spy who is very easily able to work overtime whenever he wants to get the extra, extra dollars in for his hard work. And right now he is. Okay, deciding to cloak up here. Walk through this as the rest of his team has pushed in. He's got to be really careful not to get spotted here, and he hasn't been. Nobody knows he's here. Gonna go for the kill on Shade, and he no oh, doesn't get him. The spy just not working out at all yet. The sentry is taken out. Nobody really dead yet. Um, for some reason, my HUD thinks he's still alive. So never mind. A lot of people are dead, and my HUD is just being weird. Um, oh, I've heard about this. 
it's actually a problem with uh, ever since one of the updates one of the recent updates there's been a problem with the HUD so I apologize we're, it, it's just frozen basically we're not able to see anything is happening at the moment um, it will eventually fix itself I think but that is what we're gonna see uh, regardless you know the spy play was really really close he could have gotten shade there just barely missed it um, sentry is down right now and we're seeing Mackie standing up here as the heavy He's going to try and be the anti-aircraft gun. Anybody who jumps up there, he will try and deny that. But he's at 28 health now. Takes some of this Uber from Shade, but not a lot. Only 50 health, and he does get taken down. One rocket able to finish him off there. So Mixup can jump in now, and I think the uh, HUD is fixed. Good stuff. But yeah, Mixup jumping up to the, the top of the point now. Two and a half minutes left to go here. Clockwork's going to try and stop this, but the Uber is just now popped. This is going to be really, really useful for Mixup. And not a lot of players left alive, so I think they'll actually get it. Um, so close right now. Banny comes in to try to stop this, and a bunch of players actually trying to stop this. Pure manages to get a kill on Banny with the needles, but a couple players up here from Leviathan Gaming able to stop the cap so far. Uh, Shade is standing up here just to try and body block this capture, as is his scout now, Sizer. Um, they're going to stay up here and dodge the, the pipe bombs coming up from... Oh, what a shot, but it doesn't matter as he gets knocked off. Uh, Platinum was launching some pipe bombs up there, and he probably still is going to try to, but Tyrone now standing up trying to defend this. Mix up pushing so many players in. They've got two minutes left to go here, and they are desperately trying to win this. Tyrone goes for the air shot, now able to hit it. Harblue jumps up, trying to get the kills, and does want to get the capture as well, but not quite able to do that yet. Enigma standing up now, and in comes a soldier to kill him. Oh my god, this is getting absolutely intense towards the very end of this map. Who will win it? Banny is trying his best to set up a defense here. Soldier gets taken down by himself, actually. It was Mackie killing himself. Nice uh, nice one. Apparently that's not just Harblue's domain. <laughs> but uh, no, Banny's going to start laying some sickies down up here. If anybody tries to jump and capture it right now, they are going to get taken out. But it looks like finally Mixup may have slowed down just a little bit. They are going to have to uh, rebuild their Uber, but they've got a bit of an advantage. And they're bringing out Harblue on the Pyro again. We're going to have to see if this actually works with them this time because they will want to bring Harblue up there to try to air blast people off. Um, because if you can get the Pyro up onto that point, then basically nobody can stop you. Uh, they're going to jump up and then they're just going to fail. Enigma taken out by a Banny Sticky Trap. So already that's one player. Oh no, he got popped up and then killed. No Pyro play for now. Ruin doing his best to get the kill on Shade. And Shade is now down, so he's done a bunch of damage. They jump up here and I think they're actually going to get it. It's just Scout versus Scout left. And there you go. Uh, last kill of the map actually was pure on clockwork with the needles and so uh pure and ruin up here best buds taking down clockwork to win it and that's just map one guys we had two more maps to go in the final so do stay tuned